Hey guys, this is John from the Info Hut channel. Today's tutorial is an iPhone 6S screen replacement. So if you've broken your screen, you can easily uh, follow these instructions and change it. First of all, check the back for the model. It should have iPhone S on the back, or if you look real closely where I've got my left finger here, you'll see that um, you can see the actual model number. So let's get started. Now first up, you need some tools. First is Phillips head screwdriver, a pentalobe screwdriver, a set of tweezers, and of course a, a pry tool to take the screen off. I'm using a blade to show you how easy it is, um, or something similar. Okay, so now the first step is what you need to do is you have to uh, remove the two bottom screws with a pentalobe screwdriver. As you can see, they are located next to the actual charging port. So you just take them off. Now, I've also put a link to a screw chart below. So you can print that off and put the screws in a location so you do remember where they go. Okay, for the second step, as you can see, I'm prying the screen up from the frame. And uh, it, it looks like it's a bit of a tricky task, but all you have to do is slowly move your blade or your iSesimo or pry open tool. I find a blade's fairly effective because it's really thin. And you'll see I'm slowly moving across. Now you just gotta be, you know, not too gentle as the screen's most likely gonna be broken, but just slowly move around. In this case, I'm using a screen that's not broken, so I'm being pretty careful so I don't damage it. And then you go around the other side till you get the majority of the bottom lifted up. Now what you have to do is slowly pull the bottom up and as you can see I'm flipping it up that way and it'll expose the two, well sorry, the cables connecting to the actual main logic board. Now there's a plate with four screws and just remove those four screws. Now, once those screws are removed, remove the top plate, which is fairly easy, which will expose the actual uh, cables um, that are connected to the logic board. Now, these pop off very easy. Uh, what I do suggest is make sure you use something that's non-conductive um, and something that just can get under there. I can even use my fingers, but uh, in this case, I'll just use tweezers. Now this uh, cable at the bottom, facing towards me, you lift that up first. Then there's a second cable. They just pop off like Lego. And the third cable. As you can see, now there's all that's left is a screen. Now we just need to remove uh, the actual ear speaker and front camera, which is very easy. There's only three screws. You just flip that rear housing, don't pull it off, just flip it down and it'll expose 
and you flip the camera up and it'll expose the actual ear speaker. You pull it off really easy. And now, if you just look closely, it looks tricky, but I'm prying with my tweezers the camera off and it'll expose the mic. Now the mic is glued down. So make sure you just look at the angle I'm doing it and copy me. You slowly slide it under and it pops off. That's the best way to do it so you don't damage it. Now we need to remove the six screws on the side. So there's one, two, three, one, two, three. And as you can see, my uh, screwdriver wasn't too magnetized, so you just need to make sure that you know it is a magnetized screwdriver. And they do the actual tool kits do come with uh, most screen replacement kits, but it is worth investing in one as they can repair multiple uh, items. Now, uh, as you can see, there's these. There's another screw at the top, and you just need to remove that. These are all Phillips set. It's very easy. At the bottom there's three screws and we take off that plate holding down the uh, touch well sorry the home button now watch carefully I, I flip the actual back frame off but look at the top you'll see there's these two black tabs you just need to peel them off real easy they pop off Peel them off, and then the whole back plate comes off so easily. This is a really, really uh, easy model to fix for the iPhone. Now watch carefully how I flip this connector that comes off like Lego. It's the actual home button. And I'm slowly moving my tweezers underneath because I don't want to damage that home button. And that pops off. Now be very careful that you don't damage it. Now as you can see, everything has been removed. Let's imagine in my case, the actual uh, the old screen's thrown away. We've got a new screen even though it's the same screen, and now we do everything in reverse. So what we do is we uh, put the rear plate back on. Make sure you just put those black sticker tabs on, on the top again. It's not too important, but look, I always like to put everything the way it was. Got the home button. Fit it in and then fold it down like and click it in like a piece of Lego. And now we just put down the actual plate holding down the home button. And I put it the wrong way, whoopsies. And there's three screws. Just test it to make sure it works properly, as in the button feels right. Now we have to put the side screws in again. This is a pretty easy task. Fortunately, uh, my screwdriver isn't too magnetized, so I was struggling a bit.
Now generally this is not too much of a fragile task. If there's anything that you want to take care of and, and you know not damage it's just the cables that connect to the actual board because they're, they're kind of paper thin so you don't want to bend them too much but you know you know as I said look it's pretty much fine. Now for the final bit, which is, it seems technical, but look, don't stress too much. Watch how I hold the actual mic. The mic is that gold part at the bottom there. I put that face, I put that down, and there's adhesive there, so that pops in there. And as you can see, it's holding itself. You know, so the next part is the sensors. And... It looks difficult, but just remember they've got their own place, so they generally slot into place themselves. You just need to put everything in an approximate area and then slowly push it in. It's very hard for me to get, you know, to, to get the right camera angle on this, but, um, you know, w without getting my fingers in the way. So then we put the ear speaker with the pins facing up because we fold the actual front camera over that and those pins um, sit on that front camera. Now the back plate, and you'll see the back plate won't fit down and the screws will not go in unless you've, you've pushed them in their right locking positions. So don't stress too much, jimmy it around, wiggle it around and they eventually fall into place. And you'll see what I mean, like, you know, you keep screwing and they don't go in and that means maybe the frame the actual back plate isn't sitting correctly and the screws won't go in my hands in the way here and what you'll see is I jimmy it around and there we go one screw Two screws and the third screw. Now there's just one more screw. We turn it on its, on, on its side. And there we go. Really easy to put in. Uh, I think personally this sexual repair is easier than the previous version, but um, very similar. Now I'm just magnetizing my screwdriver again. Check the front cameras aligned. Now what you need to do is just put the new screen back on. Now the best way to look at it is just match the, the width of the cable connectors to their actual um, connecting sockets. So you'll see that's the widest one, that's the second widest one, and then you've got the obvious vertical one. Uh, you know, it's not hard at all, you just need to match that width and then put them in the right order. Um, so just, you know, by all means, if you do struggle with that order, uh, you know, you can put this video on pause and, and just double check when you do it uh, and slowly, you know, push them in like a piece of Lego. Uh, apologies for looking a bit awkward doing this. It's just hard to, to try and do it in the best possible way without getting in the way of the camera. There we go, that's the first connector. Sometimes I make a clicking sound. There we go, second connector. And the third vertical connector. There we go, so now all we need to do is just hold it with your right hand, get that piece of our, uh, that, that metal plate. This secures the actual cables down. Don't forget to do this. Um, as it is handy that sometimes if you do bump your phone around, it'll stop the cables from popping up. So there we go, four screws, one.
three, four. There we go, that's down there. All you, now watch the way I put uh, this screen in. You'll see at the top of the screen, there are, there are lockers. And I'm just gonna turn it around. And you'll see that these go under the frame. So they just slide gently on a bit of an angle you put them, not too much. And I'm just going to show you like how I slide it in. Because you'll see that there's a gap and then you push it in and the gap goes away. There we go. And you go from the top down. Now push on the sides from the top down in that direction I'm going. Follow that way so you don't go cracking the screen again. Now the phone uh, the phone seems fine obviously. Unfortunately I would, did a naughty thing and not turn it off. Always get in that habit. Everything seems to work. Now all you have to do is check uh, you know the, the home button works, the front selfie camera works and obviously the ear speaker works because they're the, they're the parts you actually tampered with and most of the time they're fine. If everything's fine you just put the last two pentalobe screws in. And they're at the bottom. That's the second one. And thank you for watching this video. Please, if you like it, uh, like the video and sub subscribe to my channel as I'll be giving you multiple different repairs like water damage repairs and uh, uh, you know various different types of repairs like battery changes for this model of iPhone 6 and other models. And uh, by all means, look at the comments below for how to get the tools and replacement screens off Amazon.com. If you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, below. Thank you.